In this video, we're going to reinstall the feed regulator on a Singer Featherweight. First, let's go over the parts that you will need to reinstall your feed regulator. You will need the stitch regulator plate. It's right here. And there are two screws that hold it on. Make sure you have those. This is the feed regulator. You'll want that along with the feed reversing handle, the regulating thumb nut, and the little nut that we're going to use to help secure it to the feed regulator. This little roller, and it's going to go on a stud that's on the feed fork inside the machine, and we have to put this back on and then the hinge screw and washer that's going to hold the feed regulator all in place. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and get this roller back onto the stud. So I'm going to show you how I do that first. Okay, so we're going to take a look right in here. Do you see this stud right here, this shiny silver stud sticking out? That's what we need to slide this little roller onto. Now, before you do that, you're going to want to oil the stud and the inside of the roller. And it's okay to oil the outside too. Now, <laughs> this is the harder part, but you're going to need to reach in and work this little roller back onto the stud just like that <laughs> and if your fingers are bigger than mine it might be a little bit more of a struggle it helps if you are having trouble doing it this way turn the machine up on its nose so you have gravity helping you out a little bit but you need the roller on the stud first then we can start to put the feed regulator back in and we kind of have to start putting everything back together before we put this back into the machine. Now we're going to take the feed reversing handle first and we're going to slide spin on rather the regulating thumb nut and you want to spin it all the way up as far as it will go. Then what you're going to do, and this is important because it's easy to get excited and forget to do this step, but you're going to slide the feed reversing handle through the stitch regulator plate. Do that now. It's the only time that you can get it on. Don't worry about which way. You can flip it around so it's the right way later. Take the little nut and you're going to spin that up onto the handle a good decent ways and then you're going to take the feed regulator and you're going to screw the handle into the feed regulator and it's easier to me to turn the feed regulator and just hold the handle but do that however it works for you make sure that it's good and tight and secure and then spin the nut back down firmly against the feed regulator. My husband loves me so much. He gave me one of his tools. He realized I was missing a tiny wrench like this. So I'm going to use that to just make sure that's good and tight. Now we have this all back together. This is how we are going to put this back onto the roller all together. It's just easier that way. So we have the roller sitting on the stud and we're going to take our feed regulator and quickly, I'm just going, I've oiled these, but I'm going to add a little bit more because this is the best time to get to it. That's going to just slide right onto the stud. It shouldn't be hard. Now what you want to do 
is you're going to spin your machine around so you can see this end. So we're looking at the end of the machine and we can see the hole and the feed regulator right there. Do you see it? I want to line up that hole the best I can with the hole in the machine. And then I'm going to take my oiled hinge screw and first I'm going to slide the washer on the screw. And the way it's going to go is see how the little tabs point up? Have them pointing towards the machine. Not this way. This way, towards the machine. So I get my little hinge screw. Tabs are pointing up, away from the head of the screw. And I'm just going to slide it right into the feed regulator. And hopefully if I have everything lined up, I can get this started with my fingers so I can let go of the handle and tighten it down. Now when you tighten down this screw, what you'll start to notice is that the tighter you get it, the more resistance you're going to have in the handle. Go ahead and tighten it down. There, it's firm. I want it firm. I don't want it so loose that it's gonna wobble out of place. Now all I have left to do is to put the two little screws on that hold the stitch regulator plate in place back in the machine. One and the other. At least get them started. And then I can tighten them down. And of course, make sure that you don't have it turned upside down before you tighten it down. And just snug these up, but don't, don't uh, tighten them down too hard because remember, these are softer screw heads and you can damage the head. So let's take a look at our work here. Feed regulator is installed. And we should be able to see when we move this up and down, we should be seeing some movement right here. Okay. When you tighten this down, you may get a little bit of spinning. As long as this stays tight, do you see how this is moving? That's because I have this set pretty firm. You can go looser on this, but I like to know that this won't travel when I'm sewing through heavier fabrics. So that's okay. That screw's not coming unscrewed right now. So there you go. That's it. That is how you reinstall the feed regulator. It's not very hard. Next, what we will do is now that we have this on, we can go ahead and get our hand wheel back on which will make the rest of the parts that we want to install, it'll make that process so much easier. So thank you again for watching and following along. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.